Hey guys, today's the day is finally the studio tour video. I know you guys have been asking for it and, and by you guys, I mean literally two people. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we're gonna get into that at the end of the video, but for now, let me just talk you through what's been happening uh, in my week. So loads of fun shoots and, and viewings and meetings this week. I won't go into too much detail. Another thing that's super cool is this, I got a GoPro. Uh, I actually got this before this week, but I just haven't done anything with it so far. So yeah, uh, I've never owned a GoPro before. Um, I still don't really know why, why I bought it or what I'm gonna do with it. I've got a couple of ideas, um, but yeah, it's just something that's, that's always intrigued me. And um, I was reading some reviews on the new GoPro and everyone was saying, don't get it, get the other one. Um, so, and it's like, a year or two old, so it's pretty cheap now. So um, yeah, I'm excited to have a little play around with this. It's good fun, I got this little stick. I got so many accessories for it, I have no idea um, what half of those things do. Uh, so it's like a day's worth of learning. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I um, took it out and did a little bit of skateboarding today with it. I just thought I haven't been on my longboard for a long time, so. I thought I'd, uh, I'd take it out for a spin and check out some of the features and properly use it in anger. For the most part, all I've been doing is kind of shooting stuff at home, just willy-nilly random stuff. Um, so, <laughs> couple of you just said willy-nilly. Uh, <laughs> just shooting random stuff, uh, you know, around the home. And that's not really, I guess that's not really what these are designed for. But um, I just wanted like a pocketable camera that I could take on sort of adventures that didn't need, you know, like a full mirrorless camera system. Um, I suppose my phone would be a really good uh, thing for that as well. But what I really like about this is it is waterproof um, without a, ha a housing, so that's kind of cool. Um, one thing I did uh, want to do with the GoPro camera was, uh, I talked about it in another vlog, I really want to do a shoot um, or, and shoot a wedding uh, where I've got a GoPro attached to my camera or to my body and um, you can kind of follow me around the day or follow me around the, the studio shoot. And then uh, it would just be a, a really interesting way of looking at sort of how I pick my moments and which images I kind of take from the day and how I approach um, the sort of the act of photographing people, whether it be in the studio or um, at a wedding. Um, so yeah, I had that idea and that was one of the, one of the big reasons for getting this. And uh, so I tried this the other day in the studio and totally screwed it up, like big time. I, didn't, I couldn't work out how to fit it to my camera um, because I thought well, I'm just gonna put it on the hot shoe um, on the top of the camera. Uh, but then I realized that I use a trigger that goes onto the hot shoe. So that screwed everything up. Also, I didn't actually have like a hot shoe mount. So yeah, totally unprepared. Anyway, um, so what I did, I've got like a chest kind of thing. We're, we're just like kind of, it's a chest mount. It, it looks like a weird bra um, and, it, and, it, and it attaches it to your chest. I thought I'll give that a go because that's less weird than the one that straps it to your head. I don't know why I thought that. The thing that I didn't realize um, that would happen is because I'm like six foot four, most of the time I'm kind of leaning forwards and bending down to, to get a shot of somebody. Um, so all of the shots were just like pointed down at my feet. So it was completely pointless until I start like sat down or something like that. For the most part, I was leaning forwards and the chest, and the, the chest cam was just pointing towards um, the floor rather than actually at the client. So yeah, I've got about an hour and a half's worth of footage of people's feet so that didn't work very well, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll probably include some footage just to show you how it, how it went, but uh, yeah, learning curve. Life's about learning, I guess. I also um, went for a bit of a run the other day. It was my second run of the year, I think. Um, official second run of the year I had a bad ankle uh, ankle injury <sighs> um, before Christmas and uh, it really put me off put my training off uh, for running uh, had a nice breakfast and we're just gonna hit up the town in a second I gotta get a, I gotta get a bath first but uh, the reason why I'm running in the first place is uh, I got a thing called up called the fan dance that I'm doing it's a selection process for, uh, I believe the SAS or the Army. Uh, 
it's over on the Brecon Beacons and it's uh, 24 kilometers up and down a mountain. I think twice, load bearing, you've got a certain amount of weight on your back and uh, it's supposed to be brutal. So I'm not the fittest guy in the world. I don't do a great deal of cardio. And I thought it's a great opportunity to train up and get fit, get motivated. So this is where we are. Look after my food intake, my alcohol intake as well. That's very important. Uh, so yeah, I feel good about getting out today. I wouldn't usually run on a Sunday, so I kind of pushed myself to do it. And uh, But now it's time to get home, get a bath, get changed and head out. Time to make myself look presentable. Much better. The last jump I had slobber on it. So um, yeah, uh, that was my second run of the year and hopefully I'll get, get a few more in, get a few more training sessions with Karen, who's my PT. BeFit Studio, check her out. I'll put the link in below. Um, as part of the kind of vlog, um, I did a uh, clothes swap, like it was Peter McKinnon style clothes swap. But I didn't realize that the original jumper that I put on had sick on it, like baby sick from, <laughs> from, uh, from my daughter or slobber or whatever it was. Um, so yeah. Hashtag dad problems. Uh, you, have, you have sick on your jumpers and you don't realize and you end up going to client meetings and stuff like that with stuff all over you. Apart from that, um, we've just kind of uh, just been kind of milling around. Me and Kate and, and Harriet went to Stafford uh, town the other day to buy some baby stuff. Uh, but most importantly, I got these bad boys. Uh, these were actually technically um, for me, although, you know, whatever. Um, but I bought these for uh, the kids in my studio. Like I would say probably like 90% of the clients that come through here probably like Star Wars. So yeah, I got these. I also got some little Star Wars figures. These were just from to Toys R Us. I, I just got them to put on my shelf. I'm getting like a serious Star Wars shelf going on. Um, so that was good fun. Like, uh, yeah, I like buying toys again at 28. Oh, one more thing that I learned today. Um, thanks to my good friend, uh, Chris. Uh, who got me kind of interested is I uh, learned to solve a Rubik's Cube for the first time and uh, I've just been obsessing over it for the whole of the last of the, the, this week um, trying to work out how to do it watching YouTube videos and stuff and I can do it in about three minutes now something like that so that's a thing that happened I think that's it uh, so it's been, it's been a really fun week as usual really looking forward to the next week as well I've got some really cool stuff on the cards we're going to finish finally on the studio tour. You guys have been asking for it. And by you guys, I mean literally two people. Uh, we've got Sean Rodriguez uh, and uh, Dean Shea. She? He's a local guy. Uh, so hi, Dean. Hi, Sean. Sorry, Dean, if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, if I have, I owe you a beer. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was fun to do that. I didn't want to make it too like over the top and go into loads of detail and stuff. It was just a bit of a walk around. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about the studio tour, um, then uh, feel free to let me know. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll run the VT for that now and uh, I will see you guys next week. Have a good week. Bye bye. Let's go. <sighs> We've got Harriet today because we haven't got a babysitter and she's a bit snotty. So I'm sorry if that comes across in the video and the audio. Um, but let's start in, the, in my office. You guys have been in here before, but this is the office. This is where I spend pretty much most of my time. Um, the photo shoots are actually the quickest bit, whereas editing sometimes can take hours. So uh, yeah, this is like my little home from home essentially this is kind of where i get all my work done it's again it's it's never as clean as this ever so um like this we spent like what 40 minutes kate something like that yeah. just <laughs> trying to clean it up so this is as um this is as clean as it's ever been um but yeah it's my cool space and it's yellow which is a bit garish but um the the thought process behind that was um i wanted uh, for, first of all, for it to be really happy and colourful and fun, but um, 
I wanted a good excuse never to come into work with a hangover. Because <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Is there, have you had enough of it in here? It's too yellow, isn't it? Let's go. There's a bathroom through there, but we won't show you the bathroom because that's gross. This is like, I guess it's like an entr entrance hall. Um, we don't use it for anything other than just somewhere to walk through. It's just like a, a half space, but it's a cool little place. It was a good, good place to put another sofa and some cool imagery and stuff like that. So uh, this is where you would come through if when you're having a photo shoot, I take, I take my clients through here, sit them down. And this is basically the studio. This is where we get all of the, the cool imagery done and stuff like that. So it's a really cool space. This is actually my second studio. We've been here for what, three or four years? Mm -hmm. Something like that. So um, yeah, it's a cool space. I wish it was about another six foot that way. That'd be great if I could get that, but. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool space. I could fit plenty of people in here, but uh, you know, it, it, it's a great location. We've got plenty of stuff that we can do in here. I do think that I do think that you know, having a decent amount of space is really helpful when you're trying to be creative because you can just add in more and more stuff. So uh, yeah, cool space. I'll show, I'll show you the kitchen slash, um, I don't know, uh, storeroom. Here we go. It's kind of messy in here, but that's cool. But this is basically just where I keep all the stuff that I don't need in the studio like 24 seven. So just like newborn blankets, lighting modifiers and stuff like that, backgrounds. Um, tea and coffee, obviously very important. Gotta be, gotta be clever drip every day. And uh, Star Wars mug, obviously very important. Uh, so yeah, extra lights, things that I don't use all that often. Um, I just kind of get chucked in here essentially. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to have this, you know, like in my last studio, we had no storage whatsoever. So, you know, I was just relishing having space to be able to put stuff that I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, moving on, let's go. This is the newest addition to, to the studio. There we go. What do you think? Last, last room, last room is the viewing room, which is through here. <sighs> and this is where my clients would come to see their photos um, on, the, on the big screen. Uh, these would be like, you know, like a week or two uh, after the actual photo shoot where, um, you know, I would have taken the time to edit them and they can sit down here, they can have a drink, have a chill and uh, get to see some really cool imagery. So yeah, it's really nice. I kind of, we designed this kind of as a cinema room, somewhere that was just really fun uh, to be able to see your images because we've got a big screen TV that we can show them up on and I create like a movie of uh, my clients' images and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the viewing room. This, this is where my clients have their, their final uh, appointment, essentially, where they come and actually see the images, pick the images they want, obviously order images uh, at the time. So uh, yeah, this is it. This is our studio. I hope you enjoyed that. It was brief. I didn't want to go into loads of details like square footage and stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Ask me any questions in the comments, and uh, I'd be happy to get uh, I'd be happy to get back to you on that. Cool. Bye.